Good day, everybody. Hi. Saturday, just a couple of days after the uh, marina uh, video at Garden Island. Got Chloe in the back. Hi. Uh, got Lee at the boat ramp, and we've decided to launch off of North Haven. We just want to try the uh, Outer Harbour break wall. Um, should be some salmon there. Um, if we can get some squid, some whiting, we'll see. We'll, we'll have a look. Um, anyway, beautiful condition so far. Good to be out, bit of daddy daughter time. And uh, yeah, like I said, got, got Lee in tow. Really e easy launch at uh, North Haven. Um, yeah, it's probably about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, so we didn't need to come out early. High tide's not till uh, later on in the afternoon, so there was really no rush coming out. But as usual, let's see how we go. That was the GoPro. Yeah, just as we're heading out to the area, just doing a bit of a slow troll, like I normally do. And most of the time, you know, I pick something up even um, as I'm heading to the area I want to fish. So see how we go, got the electric motor in today. And yeah, beautiful day so far, not a breath of wind. Real calm, flat conditions. You enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. yeah. In your deck chair? Uh, just making memories, you know, with the, with the kids, you know. Oh, we got triple hook up, have we? We have a triple hook up. Yeah, so remember, hold it there, sweetheart. No, yeah, with your right hand, hold it there. No, up here, hold it right there. Yeah, have you still got it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. wind it in. Triple hook up. Yep, yeah, keep winding it in. Yep, that's it. Take your time. Doesn't have to be fast. Take your time. Oh, we got the double here. Here's yours right here. Look, there's yours. Yeah. Just hold. Oh no, that's mine. There's yours. Oh, dropped it. You you reeled it. You reeled it in a little bit too uh, fast, sweetheart. Oh, got a bit of craziness going on. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. There's uh, like plenty around here, so uh, we'll yeah, we'll sort this out and we'll get back into um, it. I was just trying to fix this tangle up. I just had a lure dangling down the side, and, and it's grabbed that without like any oh, interaction from us. All right, um, I'll, I'll sort it out, sweetheart, in a sec. Oh, no. Okay, you want to throw that one back? We throw it back the little ones. Do you want to throw it back? Yep. Try it back. Good job. Well, that's how uh, hungry they are today. Um, just had that out. I'm still trying to undo this uh, tangle, but yeah, that's that's real surprising. That, that took me a good ten minutes to uh, undo that tangle. That was just that was just crazy. Um, yeah, real fine. I think on one of these rides, I've only got um, uh, eight pounds braid, which was so thin and just wrapped itself around one of the trebles. I ended up having to cut it and, and retie knots. And that type of thing so we're underway again <laughs> but um oh man we haven't even got out of the marina and uh that was you know like four fish in the matter of um in the matter of minutes so so far so good they weren't anything special seeing some little bust ups around the place that they're only like 22 and 23 uh, centimeter salmon trout but uh yeah we'll head over to a area out there and um, see what happens as soon as i turn that off hook up Oh, have you got a hook up too? Are you are you one as well? Right, and I'll cut the motor. Oh, and have I got triple again? I think we may be on a triple again. You got one on there? Yeah. Yep, triple again. So again, nothing spectacular. Still there? These trebles, treble, treble. You got one yet? So you wound it up too much again? All right, another little, another small one. You can go, let it out, let it out a bit, sweetheart. Don't wind it up so much. All right, see if this one's still on. Yeah, you can let it go. You can bring it in. Bring it in. Did you let it go? Yeah, we don't need to keep so many fish, sweetheart. You can let them grow and get a little bit bigger we'll only keep a keep a few of the bigger ones all right so 
Yeah, they're loving, loving this one as well. Little tiny Savage Gear uh, paddle tail. Um, done so well. Let West Lakes with the salmon, so always pretty much guaranteed to catch salmon trout on this little Savage Gear paddle tail. At one stage as well, what, are you on again? Um, at one stage they were selling, I think it was a, like a pack of um, six or eight or something for five bucks at BCF, so a bit of a bargain. Um, let's see, sort of this is about average size, what I'm getting. Yeah, again, uh, that one's just over 23. All right, so yeah, cast out, we'll go, we'll hit again. So yeah, like, we still haven't got out of the uh, marina yet and um, already hitting us hard. Chloe just got one dangling the uh, grub just over the side. Right, let it out. Remember, you're winding it in a little bit too much, sweetheart. Right, now click it. Now bring now bring it up. Now bring it up. No, no, don't wind. Don't wind it. Bring the rod up. Okay? All right, try again. But yeah, you don't need to bring it up um, so much, sweetheart. All right? Now, I'm changing the double, double clutch because, um, yeah, they're grabbing anything and I just don't really want to mess around with trebles. Um, get, get hooked on everything. So I'll put another another soft plastic on for the moment and um, it looks like they're not fussy what they're going to take um, I am going to try what I'm going to try all right that Munro's in a glass monkey I think little little tiny one there no, I've, what shall I use something a little bit bigger all right let me try this uh, squidgies what I, what I had good luck the other day but this one's a little bit bigger I mean hopefully again um, bigger lure bigger fish you got that dangling down again if you work that you might you might grab hold of another one as well so I've got a, a, a decent size weight on there because um, I'm gonna be trolling it to, to get it down a little bit more um, but yeah, target species today isn't salmon trout, but I mean, it's good fun to clock for Chloe to experience anyway. So um, we'll get them, we'll get them out again. All right, are you ready? All right, motor back on. And uh, so let it out. If you want to hold it or put it in the holder, you decide. All right, let's get away from this boat, this big boat coming anyway. too. Alright. <clears throat> Bring that in. I'm just getting away from this boat, sweetheart. I'm going to slow down a tad. Alright. Keep winding that in. Oh, a bunch of seaweed. Good catch. You got yourself a salad. Alright. So, yeah. So let the line out a little bit. And then let the line out a little bit, sweetheart. Yeah. Alright. You need to take that seaweed off. Anyway, we'll continue. Trolling along the main break wall to the inlet to the Port River. Yeah, you saw a little seal, didn't you? Around the rocks. So yeah, a few people fishing off the off the wall. Had to do a big detour around them. Wouldn't have been very nice for me to just run straight over their lines. But yeah, su surprising already on this side. We should have picked something up. Seal, yeah. Just, uh, seal can scare some fish away. Right, we'll keep, we'll keep going.
Mr. Lee. At the end of the inlet it was like a barren desert around there on the sounder now if you can see that many fish under us and uh, have a look at this uh, movement the uh, swell coming out of the uh, inlet it's just completely flat except this area churning up and uh, heaps under us but no takers so far this is just nuts in this area just the, the swell just in this spot completely calm on the edges and then it's like a washing machine in here oh, that's great. Out of here. But again, sound is lit up right under this area. Okay. It's getting a bit rough for you. Take a snapshot again of the fish under us. Hey, that's just nuts. Just sounding fish top to bottom from 13 meters of water. Are you, are you still on? No, come off. Oh, thanks, man. But can you see? Can you see the sounder? Have a look. Is that, is that now? Yeah, right now. So there's been there's been that many fish underneath and abs absolutely nothing. Nothing nothing biting. It's rigged. See? It's just crazy. When's the tide off? Oh. The tide's supposed to be starting to come in. But yeah, crazy how fish can turn on and turn off. So I don't know. Do you, want to, do you want to try heading out and see if yeah. uh, any, we'll try using some bait and you um, catch squid around here, would you? Like yeah, that. we should go see if there's squid around at the out in the weed area. Got to adapt. Adaptability. Crazy. Right? Yeah. No, it is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So many fish under us, and nothing, nothing's biting. And you said you, we could see them. You could see them, see them through the uh, when you got a bit shallower. And um, yeah, the Tommies or salmon, and yeah, it's not biting. So oh, I found I found a toilet in the breakwater too. Oh, you, you found a toilet at the breakwater. Yeah, just like okay. about, about the other o side of the toilet. Open, open air toilet. Yeah, yeah. So so hang on. Oh, are you hanging oh, on? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Head that way. So Lee's in for a free uh, a free ride right now. Free tow. With the electric motor. All right, let's try. Let's try a different area. All right, ready for the waves, Chloe? Yep. Here they come. Hold on to me or the back of the seat. <laughs> Scary, all right. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you fall down? No. <laughs> you all right. There you go, that wasn't so bad, was it? Oh, Chloe's on to something. Oh, flathead. Oh, a little fl flathead, so you wind it up too much. Let it out a bit, let it out. Come on. Alrighty. So, Chloe, Chloe asked to pick a lure, and um, she picked this lure and I thought, oh, I've never never caught anything of that. Oh, from that, I don't think she's going to catch anything. And here she is. Right, right what do you got there, sweetheart? Flathead. You got yourself a little flathead. All right, Daddy, Daddy will have to unhook that for you. Are you happy with that one? Mm -hmm. You knew what it was straight away, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> There's Lee out there. I got Alrighty. a flathead. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> oh, 
starting to head back to the North Haven boat ramp um, and that's pretty much all we the only place we got some action so we went across uh, to the inlet and the big uh, break wall and nothing so many fish around sounding up apart from that flathead that Chloe got absolutely nothing we went to the black pole out there again sounding up heaps of fish they weren't taking bait they weren't taking any lures I don't know what was going on so uh, we'll troll around um, the breakwater um, right near the uh, North Haven boat ramp and see if we pick up anything there um, could be could have been a big waste of time going over there and that's all where the action is over there but we'll soon find out right looks like we've had to come all the way back to the marina to start hooking up again so on again another small Salmon trout. Yeah, yeah, just lost it. But uh, first bit of action we've had in about an hour. Um, nothing out there. Get back here nearly straight away. guys think I'll leave the video there and again thank you so much for watching very much appreciated I didn't want to stay out too late uh, or go out too far with my daughter on board so maybe next time I'll head out it's definitely worthwhile um, heading out that way again and um, exploring some of the uh, areas um, I'll do probably a little bit more research where it's good to go and um, even when we went back to the boat ramp, even that, the guy that's just pulling up now in the boat coming out a chat to us later and was saying, yeah, what a poor catch they had. I think they'd gone right out, gone to the usual spots, only come back with a few squid as well. So we weren't the only ones. There was a few people that were mentioning um, that to us on the boat ramp as well. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching and hope everyone enjoyed the video. Take care. Thank you.